today I want to show you the two extremes of water filters to buy and explain why you might consider either one of them. Hi hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today I want to talk to you about water filters. I know I've done a video on water filters before, but it was big and involved and, I, and not a lot of people watched it. I think water, people, water filters are really, really important. You should own a water filter and have one in your rig. If you're near a creek, you don't have to go into town all the time to get more water. And if you're in a car, are you going to be able to carry 14 gallons of water, which would be the pretty much the minimum you would need to be out for your two weeks? So by being out for your two weeks, having a water purifier, you don't have to run into town. You can carry enough food staples that you don't have to go in for food, but water is always the problem. So if you have a, a water filter, then and you can find a creek you're going to save money in the long run if you spend it on buying a filter today i want to show you the two extremes of water filters to buy and explain why you might consider either one of them uh, the most one of the most expensive water filters you can buy is this guardian gravity purifier this was 241 dollars right now on uh, on amazon so it is very very expensive and, but it, I think it's worth it. I spent my money on this and I will own this. This will go in my, my bug out bag and it will live there forever. It will just be there forever. It's MSR, that stands for Mountain Safety Research. This one is a purifier. That's the reason it's so very, very expensive, uh, $241. On the other hand, if you don't want to go cheap, this is a life straw and it's $16. So. 16 versus uh, versus 241. This will get the job done. Now, there's nothing here. You, if uh, you had a water bottle and you opened your water bottle up, you would have to just put your, and this is dirty water because you've dipped this in the creek. You would put this end in and, and drink through it. It's a straw. It literally, it's Life Straw is the company name. It's a straw. You just suck through it. And, and so it's a very, very good filter. You should have one of these. You can buy a, like a four or five pack of these and I just buy a whole pack of them and keep them in your rig and you never have to think about water filters again. So, well, this is a purifier. Uh, this has 0.2 microns. This has 0 0.02 microns. What does that mean? Why do you care? Because a whole lot bigger bug can go through this one than can go through this one and that's what you're buying. Mainly, this will keep out viruses because viruses uh, can't get through 0.02 microns. They're, they're too big, they don't physically fit. Is that a big deal? Viruses, the main thing you're, you're concerned about viruses is sewage. If you live downstream on a, in a stream, and upstream is cattle uh, that are, and fertilizers, and those kinds of things, if there's a lot of people around, uh, then sewage can become a problem. Uh, world travelers, if you're, a, if you're a world traveler, you're a digital nomad, you go all over the world, you go to places where the water systems are not the best. The military put out a call, we want people to bid, and they had a set of standards that they went by, and said we want people to bid on producing purifiers. And the MSR was selected. This will last me the rest of my life. It's the simplest thing in the world. It's a 10 liter, which is two and a half gallons, it's a wet bag. If you've ever done a wet bag, you it's got this huge mouth. This is so important in a water filter. You dip this thing in the, wa in the water, even a very small flow of water. Now, one of the things that also sets this apart um, is it has a charcoal filter. Now, charcoal isn't actually uh, helpful in health, I don't believe. I'm not an expert here. So the charcoal will catch out chemicals, odors, and tastes. So it's not essential for health but your water is going to be far, far better. This will do 3,000 liters. The life straw will do 4,000. So it is another 1,000 liters. Now, because it's filtering, it's got these little tiny holes and these little tiny strands and stuff can't get through it, it starts to build up. So on almost all filters, there has to be a way of what they call backfilling. You have to force the water through the other way so that it takes all the stuff that it's blocked and you have to force that out. A lot of, you reverse the pump and then you pump it and flow it through the other way. This has got, one of the great things about this is the super, super simple system 
of backfilling. So every time you set it up, what you do is you take this out and it has a clip here that opens it and closes it. It's closed now, so now no water is going to go through it. You want to open it just by allowing it up and then you allow some water to flow through it. That is how you backfill it. And one of the nice things about it too is that it has a standard uh, cap. Now a standard cap is a Nalgene cap. And so this will just screw right on here. It screws on tight, won't leak. This is a standard Nalgene cap. I can put a liter uh, of water in there and then screw this on and just walk away and not have to worry about kicking it over. So now let's go use it. It's important to keep this piece out of the water. So I just wrapped it around my neck a couple of times. And then we just lower this. This is a shallow part of the creek. So I'm going to make sure I put my hand through here too so I don't lose the bag. And then we're just going to dip this in the shallow part of the water. So you fold it over a couple of times and then just snap it into place. So we went ahead and got the creek water and we hoisted it up here. This is pretty heavy um, and we have, a, we have a step, so that's how we got it up this high. So I put this up here uh, and it should be six foot high. Now I'm going to assume that the outlet should be six foot high. And they say that the higher, the faster the gravity flows, the faster you're going to filter water. Well, so every time you use it, you have to backfill it with this thing. Okay, well, every time, 100% of the times. The first time it's especially critical because it's going to be full of carbon. You're going to, there's a lot of excess carbon, black carbon in there. Carbon won't hurt you. You can see it's coming out of there black. Now this, you could drink this. You wouldn't want to, would you? But you could. This is just carbon coming out of the carbon filter. And it's already running clear. So this is the black carbon that came out the first time. Again, this is only the first time that you do it. it, it this will happen. And then I ran another one and now it's, it's completely uh, clear now. It's really simple. You just uh, open that up. It doesn't, it stops squeezing and then, and then water comes out. This is how you backfill it every single time. So there you go. Very simple backfilling procedure. We'll see how long it takes to fill this, uh, this Nalgene. It got really, really, really close to one liter. Uh, we're, we're there now. I've got to stop it or it's going to overflow. I don't know what happens when you overflow it. And it took uh, a minute 35, and I started it at least five or 10 seconds too late. So about a minute 20 to completely fill this. So that is really good. They claimed two minutes, and that's what we got. Uh, to stop the flow, it's got the same kind of uh, clasp here. This one's white, the other one's black. You just press that in and now it'll stop the flow. So uh, this is uh, the first taste. We'll see how it tastes. Tell us what you think. Divine. It tastes wonderful. Very, very good. Yeah, that filter should, uh, should make it taste far better than most water. Yes, it yeah. does actually. So I believe it was about nine minutes. So I am 100% happy with this. Uh, I really, truly am. It's super easy to use. It, it does everything you want it to do. It's a purifier. I really, really like that you can take this off, that you can remove this to dry, that it's easy to fill without the hose and the filter in the way. It's easy to carry this thing down to the creek and fill it. I, I really like how easy it is to backfill it. Everything about this is a A plus as far as I'm concerned. So far, I don't know, I haven't found any negatives. 
boy, I just think this thing is really, really good. I, I think this is a home run. I would highly recommend it. Again, even if you don't have uh, $241 to spend on a top quality purifier like this, a filter, uh, a, a life straw filter for 16, 20 bucks, that's gonna serve you perfectly well. Just have a filter on board with you no matter what. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.